So I woke up this morning, I got my cup of coffee, turned on the computer, opened up my RSS client, and the very first thing I see is an article from its boss going over a new application called Sysmon Task, a Windows Task Manager lookalike for Linux. So what we're going to do in this video is check it out, see if it's actually worth a damn, and um, yeah, let's see if we like it. This is going to be my first impressions. I already went ahead and installed it and gathered some of the dependencies. So basically you just add the repository, I'll put the command down below and in the description, and then you run the sudo apt install the sysmon task, and if you do get an error you may have to update pip3 to the latest version, and that is done with this command right here, sudo pip install u uh, psutil, just like that. And now actually it's recommended we run this from the terminal for the very first time. So all we need to do is type sysmon task, hit enter, type in our password, and then it should go ahead and open up. So this is sysmon task, a Windows task manager manager lookalike for Linux. Said we should open it with the terminal for the first time, so I'm gonna go ahead and close all this out real quick. I'm gonna search it up in here, see if it opens up good. Type in, type in that password, and here we are. Looking at their GitHub page, if you do want to monitor your GPU, you are gonna to have to type the command NVIDIA-SMI to check to see if you have that package, and if you don't, you're gonna to want to go ahead and install it. Now with that said, let's go ahead and check this out. So. The very first thing we notice is it has a pretty similar process layout to the uh, Windows process layout. We see everything currently running. We have our update notifier, GNOME shell. Uh, we see, so if we click update notifier, nothing happens. We have a little arrow here under GNOME shell, which brings up a couple different applications that we're running, including this sysmon task. With this virtual machine, it's using about 6% of the CPU, which is kind of a lot for such a small task manager. Uh, we see that it's using 40 gigabytes of uh, memory, or at least the R memory, and you have your path command here, you have your owner, you have what's going on if it's using disks at all, with the read-write speeds, but the thing that I'm most interested in is the performance tab. Let's see how similar this looks, which so far it's looking pretty similar. Uh, I'll put a screenshot up real quick. Uh, this is what it will look like with uh, multiple cores. This is a virtual machine, so you're only going to see one core. We can see with multiple cores that it does look pretty good. It looks exactly like it does in Windows. Uh, in addition, we have our memory over here. So I gave this virtual machine 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm noticing I'm not able to click over here, so I'm going to have to click over here to actually see this. I gave it 8 gigabytes of RAM, and we can see that it is running very, very stable at 12.9%. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the uh, terminal and open up htop to see if this is accurate because the RAM's been writing pretty steady for quite a while. So let's type in htop. Oh no, there we go, htop. And we can see that it doesn't really seem like the RAM use is too accurate because with htop it says that it's using 823 megabytes and over here it says it's using 1.1. It's not too different, but if you had a really low spec system this could be a big deal. Um, additionally, HTOP is going between 12 and 24, and this seems to be writing about 10 and 22, so it's fairly accurate. One of these is probably just a little bit slower than the other. So let's go ahead and close this out, close the terminal, and we have our disk read and write speeds right here. You can see the green is the read speed, the um, like cyan blue is the write speed, and you have how many, how much space of your disk you have used here for any partitions. And then you have a network monitor here. You see there's not much going on. So one thing we're going to try out, let's open up an application. We'll open up Firefox here and try to kill it through this. Whoa, my CPU shot up to 100. Oh, it's probably because of Firefox. But yeah, it's still a little odd. Let's, I'm going to open up HTOP again and see, because I just really want to make sure that this is accurate. So if I go HTOP here... Oh yeah, my CPU load is 100%, <laughs> so it's fairly accurate. Um, let's close the terminal out, and let's try to kill this Firefox process real quick. So we'll go over to Processes, and we see Firefox is right here. There's the additional kind of tasks that are running under the Firefox command here. So we'll just hit Killer, and it says, are you sure you want to kill the process Firefox? Yes. So nice, it worked pretty well, and we can see my CPU is starting to recover a little bit after that process kill. There we go, beautiful. So now we are looking good, 
and there's really not much to it other than that. If you go under help, you can see about, get some of the credits, link to their website, and some of the license information here. Go ahead and close this out. If we go view, you can refresh it if you see some sort of lag. Uh, the update speed, so I could go to high, and then go to this, and you can see that it is moving much quicker. Uh, if we go under graph direction, you can do newer on left if for some reason you prefer that. Uh, go back there, file, and we can quit. And it's as simple as that. It's a little task manager. It's very new, so it might not be perfect as you kind of saw with the memory usage, but that could also just be a virtual machine thing. I wasn't able to get it to work on Arch or the, my Manjaro uh, main distribution, so that kind of sucks, but it was just put in the AUR today, so I'm sure within the next couple days it, it will get fixed and it will work perfectly fine. So other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Big thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are absolutely awesome. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter to support what I am doing here, there will be a link down in the description, but if you don't feel like doing that or you just can't for whatever reason, that's more than fine. Giving this video a like, sharing it with your friends or to Facebook groups, Reddit, whatever, will mean the world. Please comment down below with whatever system monitoring application you are using whether if it be HTOP, BPYTOP, this application, or if you're on Windows and you use Task Manager. Leave that down below. I hope you all have a beautiful day, and goodbye.